And then suddenly the male version to Kevin. I I'm not that much of a troublemaker. I think we're under something good. Welcome back, fellow YouTubers. I'm here again with my favorite person at Battleborn, well, other than Dennis. <laughs> well, you know, Josh. The list just, goes on and on. Josh is just one of those people. Yeah. But Battleborn's done something different this year, um, and you guys have a generator slash battery. Yes. So can we talk about that? Happy to. Absolutely. So uh, the part that you're referencing is the LPP 6500. See, I knew he'd know the numbers. It takes it takes the physical space of the current uh, typical generator in a coach that's a 5.5 kilowatt, um, so like an Odin, for instance. So for those folks that either have a generator or perhaps a generator prep area, and they don't want to have to fiddle or they've had issues with their current fuel burning generators, this piece fits exactly in that space. So it goes right in that footprint. It goes right in that footprint. Plugs right into the prep generator prep. Absolutely. We're, we're running very few uh, AC wires in, AC wires out, DC wires in, DC wires out, and that's it. So it's got two of my GC3s. It has 540 amp hours of usable capacity. And then you have what for an inverter? So we've got the MultiPlus 2 where we are uh, inverting both legs of the 50 amp circuit. So as soon as we plug that sucker into uh, a larger coach, we know that we can invert the entire piece. It's like my trailer thinks it's actually plugged in going down the road. Correct. Thanks to my Battleborns. Yes. Um, and then does it come with a charge controller, an MPPT? So we have solar charge controller, um, 70 amp solar charge hey controller, as well as a 30 amp DC to DC. So while we're, to wow. while we're towing the vehicle, we now have the ability to put 30 amps uh, from that spinning rust alternator in the, in the front of the coach, right? It's, it's free energy, we might as well do it. Um, so we're charging the bank driving, we're charging from the sun, um, when we're plugged in, we're, we're able to harness energy that way. And if for some reason we run into multiple cloudy days, we're either gonna use the tow vehicle as our generator, or if somebody happens to you know, carry a small generator, they're gonna plug it into the 30 or 50 amp short cord and away they go. That's kind of cutting edge again. Yeah, we're really excited about it. We've heard a lot of folks that would often tell us, you know, hey, we want a little solar generator that I put on a little, you know, a, a countertop on a or whatever. Cart. <laughs> yeah, right, and, and you're able to charge your phone for a little bit or whatever. We wanted to take that and actually make it usable for the entire coach, right? So you're going to be able to run an air conditioner if it's, you know, an efficient AC for five, six, seven hours. Um, you're going to be able to do everything that you want to do really, really easily um, without having a, a, a long installation time um, or honestly at a, at a dealer's location, right? We, sometimes we can't get to installers that we that we love. Um, it's it's a it's an easy enough thing for most uh, dealer locations. To install. So what you're trying to say is you're saying that you could possibly even do it yourself? 100%. You and a couple buddies, it weighs about 300 pounds. Get it into the space. We'll walk you through the, the hookup within, you know, relatively short amount of time. It should be up and running. Um, and then you have all the support that the folks at Battleborn and Victron are able to provide with it. I love the fact that when I pick up the phone anytime, I'm talking to one of the people in Reno. And because you guys are close to California, and now knowing what they've just lost their minds with, yeah. this would be really cool with the fact that you can have a quote unquote generator yes. without having a generator to meet the it's a, uh, air board resistance. Yep. It's a, it's <laughs> look, yeah, uh, California has a war against uh, internal combustion engines. They have and, a war against everything, including do, their people. They do, they do. I'll, I'll but, cut but, that out. I'll but it is, that out. But it is, it's, look, it's a beautiful state to travel in and a lot of folks don't want to have a generator yeah, clanging along. Um, in order to camp, this offers that ability to have sort of peace and quiet while quiet you're out power. in peace and quiet. Yeah. Quiet power. I like that idea. So, <clears throat> I also heard there's some new things on the horizon coming, thanks to Tanya. I'm not going to put you under pressure on that. Okay, good. But just look at them and go, <laughs> hey, stand by for more and more innovation from Battleborn, because we love you guys. Thank you, uh, thank you. We're so happy to say that we're part of the Battleborn family, and you we love our great. product. Yep, the, the Without wonderful, wonderful ambassadors, and yes, do stay tuned. We have got some very interesting things that are going to continue to shake up this battery space. It's cutting edge, 
and I'm so excited because I wouldn't touch my GC3s with anything else save, <clears throat> except for maybe what's coming. That's how innovative. It, it's it's fairly spectacular. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna catch it's, it's gonna catch the world by. I think, I think you just have to call it game changer. Well, we have 3.0s, so yeah, what the, would that be, like 10.0s? The best part of like the naming convention, we're not really sure what direction we're going to go, if we're just going to keep working up the list, or we'll just come up with a whole new term. But anyways, we'll make something, we're going to ask Kevin his opinion. Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to no. be called the Kevin. <laughs> well, you know what's really this funny guy, about this that is, a game changer. you know what's really funny about that is, when I was a kid growing up, I didn't know any Kevins at all, and then suddenly I had like 15 of them in high school, because there was like 900 kids in my graduating class, uh -huh. and then... Kevin with Home Alone, oh, and then troublemaker in, Kevin, right? And then comes up <laughs> with the bird that's named oh, Kevin, oh, yeah. but it's a she. Yeah. Oh sure. And then suddenly, you know, the next thing we have Karens. Yeah, I feel sorry for Karens. Right. Well, I've got a couple friends that are Karens, but they say they don't spell their name the same way. Oh, and then suddenly, the male version's a Kevin. I I'm not that much of a troublemaker, no. although Derek over here will probably deny the fact that I'm not a troublemaker. <laughs> Again, thanks, Josh. I really appreciate it. You are my guy. Oh, uh, I love interviewing love you. Me. You're so good. It's so fun to edit with you. <laughs> and watch for innovative change coming from Battleborn, because I'm telling you, again, this is going to change the entire RV industry for what you can and can't do with your RV batteries. So, Derek, in our world, adventure lies at every turn. Yeah. So, what would you say about your adventures? Which one? How many? Well, what day? You know, we have a thing that we have in common, and it would be the Reno Air Races. Love them. And Been there since before I can remember. I could walk. I started going in 1977, so uh, we track some of the same territory. So we have that adventure together. Absolutely. But when I come to Battleborn, what does Battleborn allow me to do? Live however you want. Get out there, stay out there. So Get the out motto, there, stay out there. That's what we want. God, I love that motto. So come take the turn with us. Because remember, adventure lies at every turn. Every turn. Join us. So Josh, now you got me down here on the floor. We're looking at the front of our portable generator. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's this all about? So these are our inputs and outputs for our AC side of the system. And this is on our DC side of the system. And these are our main positive and negative posts that we'll be able to land a lot of our uh, components going in and out of the system. Okay, so like what? And I noticed the big red switch in the middle is a battery disconnect. That's the battery disconnect. We hope that everybody knows what that battery disconnect uh, is going to do. So this that'll obviously place? disconnect this system from the, the rest of the supply. Well, before you educated me, I didn't know what a battery disconnect was, so you know, not everybody might know about it. Okay. So if I flip that, it turns my batteries off, that, so it kind of kills the whole system? Correct, correct. When we're ready to, to go, we're done camping, we're ready to shut everything down, we want to make sure that we turn this sucker off and walk away. We don't need you to break into the battery system, pull the batteries out, do anything crazy like that. We're going to turn it off, walk away, come back in you know six months to a year, You'll have barely lost any uh, stored power in the system. And if I have solar panels, I'm still 100% charged. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? Love it. Yep. Um, we have some different COM ports here in the front here. So if we need to add uh, servo, some RVC CAN communication, we have the ability to do that here without having to break into the system. All very plug and play. So what you're trying to tell me is once you guys assemble this and put the lid on it, Mm -hmm. All you have to do is slide it into the bay, yes. hook up your cables that you need to have come out and go in, yep. and you don't have to touch it. We don't have to touch it, yes sir. We're and done. we're stupid quiet. Yes sir. We're California, Air <laughs> we're California Air Resources Board compliant. Yes we are. So that means you can have power and not make your neighbors mad because your third Tesla is making too much noise. Correct, yes. <laughs> and baby Jesus won't start crying because of you burning fossil fuels. That's what it is. That's, I knew there was a reason right. behind now, it. Now in California, they don't believe in Jesus, but you know. Well, that's a whole other story, but we won't Jesus. go there. But it's vented. It handles the heat. You put it in the bay. It's plug and play. Yes, sir. It goes into your automatic transfer switch if you have one. Everything is programmed for us for the factory. So it, it works seamlessly with the rest of the components. So everything is programmed to work 
exactly in concert with one another. So no outside inputs required. Plug the thing in and go. Plug it in and go. And should you ever have any questions, comments, or sarcasms, you reach out to Battleborn directly and we'll walk you through how to fix anything that might have gone sideways during your travels. We never have sarcasm, unless it's for Eric and Derek. You know, Derek <laughs> and the Dominoes and Eric bringing up the back. That's um, correct. Those are some of our favorite techs. Yes, sir. Um, so again, this is something that's really, truly a game changer. It's got Game Changer 3s in the front, but if you need a generator, or you have a really bad crappy generator that's old and needs to be replaced, this is the way to go. It's simple, it's plug and play, and it makes your life really easy to put on a battery solar system into your rig. A lot of people have solar prep, a lot of people have generator prep, but they don't have a generator. If you have solar prep and you have generator prep, you can plug this thing in, put your solar panels on right into it, and plug it in, turn it on, plug it in wires into your uh, automatic transfer switch, and guess what? You are up and running, and the trailer doesn't know that it's not hooked up to shore power. So that's a great thing for us at RV, right? It's absolutely. But you guys don't do just RVs. This can be put in a boat, right? It can be put in a boat. It can be put into a hunting cabin. It can be put into any area where you need to have a power reserve ready to go at all times without burning fossil fuels. I like that idea. That's a pretty good idea. Who came up with clever. this? It's not me. I'm the communication major. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we talk to you. That's right. Because you're dumb. I mean, smart enough to talk. Oh, wait. I'm dumb enough to know better. <laughs> just, or not know better. Just talk to me. That's the important part, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, YouTube. Remember, this is how this works in our world. Life's an adventure, and adventure lies at every turn. So come join me and Josh and take the turn with us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Between the edge of being alive. Feeling dead. This picture of us here, it's just like a review me.